Hi, I'm Mrs. Dorset, your beauty consultant with Caricultura Beauty, and welcome to mi isla. Carib is short for Caribbean, and cultura is the Spanish word for culture. So Caricultura Beauty is the celebration of the beauty of Caribbean culture. La fusión entre la cultura y la belleza. Today, we are going to demo LYS Beauty. I just received my package in the mail. Um, we're going to demo the foundation, the primer, the bronzer, and the blush. So, let's get into it. All right, so we are going to look at the camera when I'm saying this. This is the Secure Skin Gripping Serum Primer. Okay, I'm going to try the primer. The reason I decided to try the primer, although it had a lot of negative reviews about the foundation itself sticking, is because I figured that this is a skincare infused uh, product, both the foundation and the primer. And so if they were formulated to work together, even though people had negative, this is my thought process now. Although people had negative reviews on the primer and its compatibility with the foundation, okay? And I got the foundation in the shade, it's supposed to be DG7. Yes, DG7, okay? Now, I got DG7 because I saw um, Andrea's Andrea Renee's review. And I also saw Jackie Ina's review, and it was the D1G1. When I did the test on Sephora, it paired me with D1G1. When I did the test on LYS Beauty, it paired me with DG7. So I decided to go with DG7 because I think that Andrea Renee is kind of similar to my skin tone, even though I'm a little bit more yellow in my opinion. But for the most part, that's my thought process. So for her, it was a little bit dark. So I'm expecting this to be just a hint dark. But I figured that the undertones might be similar. But anyway, I said all of that to say, um, I really thought long and hard about whether or not to get the primer. But then I wanted to make sure I have other primers for my other foundations that I could also test it with. So I do want to check just to verify because I don't think that they would make a primer to work with a foundation if it wasn't tested. So either something is up with the application that we're doing wrong or perhaps different skin tones or different skin preps. Like I'm very curious as to why it wouldn't work and why so many people would have such a hard time because you would think they would be formulated together. At least, you know, this is stuff I'd be thinking about. So I'm going to try it. Um, I know a lot of people had a lot of negative experiences. There were a lot of negative reviews and a lot of people opted not to try the primer, but I decided that I was just going to be defiant and try it anyway. So it says, instantly perfect your canvas with this lightweight serum primer that helps balance the look of skin and control the appearance of excess shine throughout the day. Infused with niacinamine, ginger root, lemon, and grapefruit extracts, this primer works to minimize the look of enlarged pores and brighten the appearance of hyper hyperpigmentation and uneven skin tone. All right, so here we go with the usage. Evenly apply a thin layer to skin following a moisturizer. Wear alone or with makeup. Okay, evenly apply a thin layer to skin following a moisturizer. So I'm assuming following a moisturizer means that you would have washed your face first, put your moisturizer on, and then put an even amount on there. Now there is, this says pore and shine control with 5% niacinamide and AHA. I'm all for the skincare infused complexion products. This is what I'm gonna put. And I'm going to try to put an even layer. Now on my skin, I do have um, my Mary Kay Time Wise Moisturizer slash SPF. Now, I can feel it tightening up as I go. I just want to make sure that this is evenly blended. Now, when I watched Jackie Ina's video, she did not have a problem. So if Jackie didn't have a problem, 
I'm gonna put, cause I only started here, so I'm gonna put another even layer on the top. So I wanna make sure that everything is nice and even to avoid any patches. You know, a lot of people are saying that it feels sticky. I don't, I don't feel this sticky. I really don't. And I'm like putting it in to my skin. I wanted to have like an even layer all over. And when Jackie Aina applied it, she didn't appear to have any issues. So I was like, well, what is everybody else doing wrong? So we are going to see. Now, this is skincare infused primer. So I don't think that it would be wise to apply the primer and then go right in with foundation. At least that's my thought process. So I'm going to do the process that I normally do which is apply my primer right after my moisturizer and then I get started with my brows and my eyes etc so that is what we're gonna do and then that way it will give the primer um, some time to set and also to be worked into my skin to do what it needs to do all right, so we are going to get started with the LYS foundation in the shade DG7. So I'm going to shake it, um, make sure that I'm applying it correctly. We have applied the primer and the primer, I had it sit on my face. I applied my eyes, so it had enough time to dry down and hopefully it works well with the foundation. So let's read the usage. Well, first of all, let's read. It says, satisfy your skincare and foundation fix at the same time with this clean light to medium coverage foundation that's infused with nourishing skincare like ashwagandha, hyaluronic acid, and turmeric to enhance the look of your complexion. This undetectable serum foundation instantly diffuses the look of dark spots, pores, fine lines, and imperfections without masking your skin's natural beauty. So we're gonna see. Now, my imperfections and everything else, I, w I already went ahead and covered them with concealer. So um, maybe I cheated a little bit, but that's just a normal process that I follow. I do my eyes, I, un I conceal on my under eye, and I also um, kind of spot treat with concealer. Now, with this eyeshadow look, I do have a little bit of fallout. I did wipe directly under my eye because I was going to put concealer there anyway. Um, but I do have a little bit of fallout like here. I figured, you know, I'm just going to leave it because I don't want to have to wipe it off and then risk that the primer be reapplied patchy. So I'm just going to leave the fallout and just hope that the foundation covers it. Now, as far as the usage, it says smooth a small amount onto clean, moisturized, and or primed skin with a sponge or foundation brush, not included, and build as desired. Now, when it comes to applying foundation, I normally use a brush, but I did see um, that I think the sponge was probably the way to go. I saw quite a few videos that utilize the sponge. So I'm trying to figure like, should I use my brush? Cause I normally use a brush. Now, if I were to use a brush, I would use something like this. This is the J3 tapered contour brush from Juvia's Place. But even though it's, it's a contour brush, I kind of like the fact that it is like a domed brush and it's also very fluffy. So it's great for applying foundation. When I took a class with AJ Crimson, um, he applies foundation using like a dome kind of fluffy brush like this. And actually he selected this brush for applying his cream foundation. And so ever since that class, I have been utilizing this as a foundation brush. Um, so originally I would use this to apply the foundation, but I kind of want to try a sponge. I 
something telling me to use a sponge, you know, something telling me to use a sponge. So I'm going to use a sponge. So if I were going to use a brush, I'm going to do this. I know some people put a brush on one side and a sponge on one side, but I ain't got time for all of that. You gotta be, I have to be, make my mind up, make my decision up. So we're going to go in with the Beauty Bakery blending eggs. And if you have never seen these by Beauty Bakery, they are so cute. And the ones that I have are the black ones. This is what it looks like. It's a brand new pack. So I'm just going to take one egg out and put everything back together because you know we want to keep everything nice and neat we're going to open up the sponge boom, boom, boom. okay this is what the sponge looks like i'm gonna go ahead and wet this all right the sponge is wet so as you can see it is a lot bigger let's make sure there's not no excess unnecessary water all right so i'm going to use my palette I'm going to take off the cover. Here we go. Shake it up one more again. And I'm going to put it on my mini den. There we go. Oh, it's dark. Okay, I'm going to do two pumps. That much. I probably don't need all of this, but here goes nothing we're gonna go in with our sponge wow this is a lot okay let's go let's see what we got so i'm gonna put the sponge in i don't really have a lot of experience using sponges so i'm gonna start down here where i have a lot of hyperpigmentation and i'm just going to kind of dub it in Okay, so far, as far as the color, I think we're doing good. The color itself matches my skin perfectly when it first applies. Now, I know it's going to have to dry down, so I'm not naive about that, but just applying it the first time, it, it matches my, my skin. And I'm just using the light tapping motions. I'm not... Going in too hard with it. Just using light tap emotions. Wanted to start off the, at the bottom part because that's where I have the discoloration. And I'm just using tap emotions. And I'm just kind of trying to spread it up as I go. Okay, so now I'm going to start up here and kind of like just continue tapping. Tap in, tap in, tap in. And I'm going to continue over here. And we're doing the same thing. Tap in, tap in, tap in. All right. So this is the application. I don't see any weirdness going on. Okay. I applied it. I have a very healthy glow. I, tr I think I distributed it evenly throughout my skin. I don't see any weirdness going on as far as patchiness. I think, I think the application went pretty smoothly. Praise the Lord. Now I'm wondering because I still look like I have bags underneath there. So I'm going to go in with the Pat McGrath Concealer. Just one more again, just a little bit, nothing too crazy. Just a little bit because I'm gonna go in next with the um, setting powder. And so I wanna make sure that I have done my due diligence. So I'm just packing on that Pat McGrath concealer just right there. Because I'm just trying to hide these bags. We don't want everybody knowing our secrets. That we don't be getting a lot of sleep. So I'm just packing on the Pat McGrath concealer right there. 
I'm going to blend it out with the sponge just to be consistent. Well, not really blend it out, but kind of like pack it in. Gently with the sponge. I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to put, put because I'm trying to test the foundation. So I'm not trying to manipulate it too much. All right. So the next product that we have is the Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder. Now, she has four different options. I decided to get the Banana. That's the shade Brilliant. I decided to get the Banana because... I have yellow undertones and I think the banana will look better on their eye. This is what it looks like. Very pretty. It's very yellow. And I'm going to compare it to the Pat McGrath yellow just to see the difference. So this is the Pat McGrath yellow powder. And this is the LYS yellow powder. So this is definitely more yellow than the Pat McGrath yellow. Okay. All right. So this is the Sasha Buttercup. And this is the LYS. Sasha Buttercup is definitely more yellow in my opinion. Yeah, Sasha Buttercup is like very, very yellow. This one is yellow, but it's not as intense as the Sasha Buttercup. All right, so this is AJ Crimson, and this is the LYS Yellow. The LYS Yellow is definitely more yellow than AJ Crimson. AJ Crimson is kind of more Hmm. This is kind of more like, it's just yellow, but it has like a different tint to it compared to this one. This is like a canary kind of color. Okay. And for comparison, this is it against the Sasha Buttercup. Sasha Buttercup is super, super yellow. This one, it's a different undertone-ish. This is the Edge of Crimson. Now we're gonna compare it with one more powder. This is the Fenty Beauty Honey. Fenty Beauty Honey. Chacho. Ay Dios. Esto está. Okay, Fenty Beauty Honey. Ay, esto está. This is more, this is definitely darker. Okay. This is Fenty Beauty Honey, and this is the um, thing. So I think we have a good comparison of all the different yellows. This is a pretty nice yellow. Okay, let's cover up Fenty Beauty. We're going to go in with the brush I normally go in with for my powders. It's not powdery. Okay, not too powdery. And of course, it has a mirror in it. There we go. And I'm going to gently apply it. Okay. Nice. Now, I like what I like about this is that it is applying without, it's like gently applying the product. It kind of reminds me of how the Danessa Myricks Evolution Powder is like so finely milled that when you put it on, it doesn't like cake up. It doesn't like apply too much product. It just gently gives you a, a clean wash. As you see, like it's gently applying so that it is mattifying the application, but not too powdery. Like with the Pat McGrath under eye blurring powder, it gives you like intense coverage initially. This one you have to build up. 
Okay, we're gonna do one side at a time. And I immediately like how that looks. That has like a very natural finish. Now I'm going to apply some in to this smile line right here. Okay. I like it. I like the powder. And you can see it's still very much intact. I'm gently touching on it and using it to apply my product. Wow. I like this. I really like this. And I don't even mind the fact that it's drying kind of like darker, the foundation. I don't I don't mind it at all. It's like perfect for for summer. Okay, and I'm just packing it on because I want to make sure that this area is smooth and seamless. And you can see the difference. And it's not too much product being applied or anything. I love it. I love it. Love it. I think this is so cool. Okay, and I'm just putting it over because I'm just trying to focus on this area. But I'm going to go in with a fluffier brush. But in the meantime, we're just applying. I'm going to do the opposite side now. This is amazing. Like, it's like, it's, it feel like it's barely there. And of course, I'm just gently topping it. This is pretty amazing. I like it, I like it, I like it. This brush has, has been around the world and yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We're just going to use the big booty Judy brush and just put it all over the face. So there we go. Okay, and then just gently carry it all over. Gently just carry all over. Okay, boom. That was the setting powder, which we absolutely love. So, so far, the primer, love it. Foundation, love it. I didn't have any weirdness, no patchiness, no craziness going on. I just applied the setting powder in banana, love it. Now we're gonna move on to contour, all right? And the contour that I got is uh, the Lo No Limits Matte Bronzer. And this is in the shade Strength, which is the dark color. Oh boy, there we go. Confidence without compromise. All right, this is the same triangle shape as the same size to same packaging as the setting powder. So the bronzer, ooh, that's deep. I was worried that the dark wasn't going to be dark enough. Now, to compare, the bronzer that I normally use by Mantic Cosmetics, this is more cool tone. The bronzer that I use from Mented is more warm, which is this. Let me put them kind of side by side. Okay. This one has like more red in it. This one is more cool tone. This, hmm, okay. We're gonna see how this looks. But it's dark enough that I know it's gonna show up on my skin, which I'm, I'm happy about because I was worried. Even though it said dark, I was like, I hope this is dark enough. And it looks like it's gonna be dark enough. Now to compare it with the contour that I use, this is the Tarte Contour Palette. And this is the shade. So in comparison, it looks like the um, shade number three contour from the Tarte palette. 
okay this the shade four is much darker so i would say it's closer to the contour palette in the tart as far as shade so i kind of know what i'm getting myself into now i'm gonna go in with this contour brush from juvia's place cleaning it off on my microfiber cloth because i don't want to contaminate it with any products that i had before yes i know i could use a new brush but i don't i don't want to go to no mom and brushes i just washed these brushes the day before so product is off brush is clean all right here goes so we are going to tap it in this is kind of the same concept there we go okay this is a lot of product mm. okay i'm just tapping the product on for right now i'll blend it out in seida right now that definitely applied some product so i'm just going to pack it on for now and then i'm going to blend it out but it put like a healthy a healthy hue on there so now i'm gonna blend it out wow yeah that was definitely a healthy hue definitely so in comparison definitely definitely a healthy hue so thumbs up on the bronzer bell by guy bell by guy okay i am good with the bronzer no complaint i like the hue that it gives it looks great against my skin the foundation looks flawless it looks like skin but still i still look like me i love it all right so the final product that we got was a blush now the blush that i have is this is the higher standard satin matte cream blush the cream blush is what got me a little bit nervous okay and the shade that i got is confident okay it's only this uh of course i had to get confident but i really had my eye on the orange one but it was sold out it was sold out on sephora and it was sold out on her website so i had to settle with just confident the key ingredients is kaolin clay it helps reduce the appearance of pores and limit excess shine it has avocado oil that penetrates to lock in lasting hydration vitamin e to help calm and soothe now that is the blush so it looks like all the products might have some infused ingredients yes this is the the setting powder has um niacinamide that helps to reduce the appearance of pores and limit excess shine it has green tea extract with antioxidant benefits that helps to soothe and replenish the skin and then sodium hyaluronic in the powder hmm. helps to retain the skin moisture and visibly plump the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles okay that's why talking about all right the next one we have was the bronzer the bronzer has green tea extract in there, which is an antioxidant benefits to help soothe and replenish the skin. It has sodium hyaluronic also in the bronzer. What? Helps retain the skin moisture and visibly plump the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And then it has the um, niacinamide, which helps reduce the appearance of pores and limit excess shine. This is amazing. Like all the products are infused with some type of health or, or skincare benefit, which is amazing wow so it's like everything you put on your face it replenishes and helps to benefit the skin i think that is amazing because if you have a consistent skincare routine routine and your beauty products are natural clean and they have skincare benefits in there i mean what's not to love that is amazing and like the quality and the amazing finish is just so pretty so i got nothing negative to say the only thing is i'm a little bit concerned about this um product because i don't really know like it's a cream 
blush and I know cream blushes are the thing but I don't really have a lot of experience with cream blushes so I'm gonna go in with this um, Luxie tapered highlighter br brush this is what I normally use to apply my brush my yeah I normally use this to apply my blushes but it's usually a powder blush so using it for the cream we're gonna see let me read the instructions because I'm not very familiar with the cream blushes. Apply onto the apples of the cheek using a blush brush, not included. Apply excess onto the bridge of the nose, lip, and hairline for a youthful look. Okay, I'm going to go in um, cautiously. So this is what I'm doing. I'm going to tap it as if I were going to tap a powder. And I'm just going to get some on both sides. And then I am going to just, okay. I'm just going to just kind of tap it in there. I'm not going in too high because I'm, I'm a little bit nervous in the, oh, this is pretty though. And it goes with my eyes. Wow. Okay, come through cream blush. I've been, I've been sleeping on a I've been sleeping. Let me just take it easy. We don't want to go too much. We don't want to go too much. I'm going to just bring it. I'm just tapping. I'm all in a tapping mood. I went in tapping with the beauty blender. I'm tapping with the, um, the blush. Okay. I'm not really a blush person. Like, my blushes have to look natural. And I think this does that. This adds, like, the right amount of hue, which I was a little bit concerned that it was not going to go in my undertone because I think the orange blush was better. Um, but I stand corrected. This is pretty. And so far, this is what it's looking like in the pan um yeah it's not at all just a little smudge not at all wow okay this is pretty this is pretty it has a healthy glow on my skin can't complain the blush the contour the, the bronzer and I'm taking a blush up and it's just letting me tap it in naturally, nothing too crazy and going in, I just gently applying. I love it. I'm going to use it as a, just a wash. So I'm going to go in with this lip brush from the BH Cosmetics and it's my Ray Ray. This definitely put a dent into it and I'm going to apply it as a lipstick not really lipstick just like a little wash of color okay just a little wash that's pretty so I'm going to go in with a liner. Just to add some shadow. Okay. I'm keeping the look. I really want to put in a put on a gloss. I really want to put on a gloss, but I'm trying to keep the look neutral.
Mm. I like it. And this is the cream blush. Vanessa Merrick's taught me well. I think you have to use all your products independently. Now, as far as the packaging for these items, they are all, they're all stackable, okay? The contour and the setting powder looks the same as far as it has the same shine, whereas the blush is kind of more of a frosted color. So that's how you could tell them apart. Um, I'm going to go back in with the translucent setting powder in the shade Banana with my Big Booty Judy brush and just kind of go, go over the contour and the blush just to kind of like set everything. A final set. Now she didn't come up with any kind of um, concealer as yet or highlighter, but I think the products that she did come out with initially are amazing. I think it's an excellent start, actually way more than excellent, better than most, you know, to be able to come out with all these products at one time. That's good, that's amazing. That was amazing, okay? So I wanted to just kind of like set everything together. One last hoorah. I'm going to go in with a little bit of um, highlighter. But overall, the finish, the finish overall is stunning. All right, so LYS Beauty, amazing. I understand that a lot of people like to keep their skincare and their cosmetics products separate but i think anything that they're anything that you could do to pretty much add more um longevity and health to your skin the better so i definitely love the fact that this item has in skincare benefits actually that all the products do contain some type of skincare benefit overall i think the products are amazing they're high quality they are beautiful. The packaging is perfection and they are all affordable. I think that's the most important thing. I mean, you can definitely get an entire face for under $100, which is like unheard of. My skin looks amazing. I think that the shade match was pretty much spot on. And just for reference, I wear um, Cypress in Unique. I wear 400 and 420 in Fenty Beauty. I wear MD26 in Pat McGrath. I wear W05 in Danessa Myricks. Um, ¿Qué más? I wear Burkina in uh, Juvia's Place Foundation. Just to give you kind of like a reference. Now, all, none, all of them have like a hint off so it's not like spot on um shades for all of them but i am usually i usually gravitate to dark skin with golden undertones that's usually my description to, um to give you like for reference but i think the dg7 looks amazing i'm gonna go outside because sometimes you look good inside and then when you look you go outside you look crazy so i'm going to try to do that but i think overall the finish looks amazing. I love the powder. My favorite products were everything, really. And I'm glad that I was right in getting the primer. It just didn't make sense to me. I was like, why? I was like, people got to be doing something wrong. Like, how is how did some people not have any problems, but then other people had problems? I think it was because if you think that it's a skincare product, the skincare product has to have time to absorb into the skin. So if the primer is infused with skincare and it is supposed to be like a skincare product, you have to give it time to absorb into the skin. Now, I think that by applying it into the skin, applying it evenly, rubbing it into the skin, applying it evenly, as you saw that I did, following the instructions, giving it time to dry is going to give you a much better application because it, it just didn't make sense to me. If, if they make a primer to go with a foundation, why wouldn't a primer work? Like, that was silly to me. And to, to have been someone like um, Tisha Thompson, 
who was involved in product creation, I would think she know what she's doing. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm glad that I still went ahead and got the primer because I think it looks great. Um, but yes, this is it. I am very excited with this whole um, look. I like the blush, the cream blush. I was a little bit hesitant at first and I don't really go in hand with blush at all. Like I'm, I want like a very natural looking look. And I think that it looks like my skin, it looks clean. It doesn't look like overly done or anything. Like I think everything like came together perfectly. I like the, the powder. I think of all the products, my favorite is the powder. And applying the foundation with the sponge really turned out to be to be great and you see i don't have no issues no issues no weird patchiness no no odd baldness going on you see i think i think we do good so yes i definitely recommend lys beauty these are all the products that I got. The primer, the foundation, the setting powder, the bronzer, and the blush. So, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed doing the video. Um, I'm, as, you, as usual, I'm Mrs. Arset, your beauty consultant with Cariu Cultura Beauty. And thank you so much for watching. While you're here, on my isla, which means island in Spanish, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. Remember, whenever you come to my isla, you do not need a passport. Grab something to eat and watch some of the other videos that I have on here. I hope you enjoy some of my other videos. And do come back again. Be sure to subscribe if you like this. If you like hanging out on my isla, make sure to subscribe so that you can see every time I post a new video. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate and I give LYS a chance, okay? It's a Black-owned beauty business. Um, and what else can I say? It's it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, baby. Gorgeous. So, yes. Give it a chance. Give it a chance, I tell you. Mm -hmm.